Is Resident Evil just a game? I'm beginning to think that it's not a game. Based on the timeline of its releases, every single year they've released another game. And um, I want you to be able to go back and look at this video, pause on each screen, and read what is said, okay? Because I think it's really interesting. Uh, especially the topic matters that they're talking about. I, I really do. There's something more to it, just like the food chain reaction game, all of that. Uh, it may be games to them, but it's not a game for us. But guess what? We're in their game. That's what I want to say. I'm going to show you a few other games uh, that they have released that are quite similar. Nano Breaker. It is the year 2021 in which the United States has established an island facility called Nano Machine Island to research and develop nanotechnology for the implementation in military and civilian life. You are the ultimate weapon. In the futuristic world of Nano Breaker, Nano machines have transformed humans into horrific monster machines. As an experimental cyborg soldier, slash and rip your way through the machine onslaught with a shape shifting plasma blade. As humanity's last hope, prevent the world from falling into certain apocalypse. The Rage Virus, also known as the Infection or RV for short, is a fictional disease in the 2002 film 28 Days Later and in the 2007 film 28 Weeks Later. It also appears in the graphic novel 28 Days Later, The Aftermath. It is a virulent blood-borne virus that sends its host into fits of extreme uncontrollable rage. We really do need to have in the back of our mind that a zombie apocalypse is coming. There's been too many resources thrown at it, too much money, too much everything, too many movies, you all. We really need to prepare. And look at this, Homeland Security. And listen listen, listen to their video. They could have done it a lot better. I got it! Hi. Can you help me? I got it. Thank you. No problem. Just like the rules to surviving zombie land, there are steps you can take to be prepared for an emergency. It's the right thing to do. Talk with your family to make a plan. Look for safe areas to meet up if separated. And stock up on supplies. It's never too early to get prepared. So start now. Right now? Right now. You can't predict emergencies, but you can be ready. You're welcome, America. Visit ready.gov. As you can see, there's too much information out there. Too many people... Um throwing resources at it, you all. This ain't no game. It really isn't. Even though they may think it's a game, it's not. So with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you.